<laughs> In his letter dated 26th August to the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, President Yoweri Museven objected to some of the clauses passed by the 10th Parliament in the NSSF Amendment Bill. Henceforth, the bill was returned to Parliament and sent to the Committee of Gender, Labor and Social Development for re-examination. After an in-house sitting, the committee will tomorrow start public hearings with the Minister of Gender, Committee Chairperson and Chegegwa District Uman MP Fravia Rabuhoro, says emphasis will be put only on the contested clauses. Although we are not going to go back to the, to the bill, because most of the issues in the bill had been agreed upon. By the time the parliament passed, in the 10th parliament, many things had been agreed upon and we don't need to go back there. We are only trying to look at the issues of contention. Uh, those that will come from His Excellency and maybe any other that uh, may raise uh, uh, contention that we cannot uh, close our eyes about. Museven rejected clause 24A sub clause 2 of the past bill that had allowed me term access to funds by those who had served for 10 years or those aged 45 whichever came first. Arguing that such access would be unsustainable to the fund, Museven recommended only midterm access to those that have served 10 years and are 45 years. The president is saying, yes, you should have served for 10 years, but you should have clocked 45 years of age. So there is a contention there too, that you must be 45 years and have served for 10 years. There is something we shall need opinion from the stakeholders, the different stakeholders. The president further rejected clause 24A sub clause 3 and sub clause 4 that had allowed a member with disability who ceases to be employed for at least one year to withdraw 75% of his or her savings for it would put the savers at a greater risk of poverty in old age and put the fund under financial distress. Instead, Museven recommended 40% access for such a member. But of course we shall hear from New Depot, the National Union of Disabled Persons of Uganda, and also the National Council for People Living with a Disability. They will tell us what their opinion is and why in the earlier it had come in and whether we should let it go or bring it back. Museven also insisted that the fund should be managed by the Ministry of Finance instead of both the Ministry of Finance and Gender, as the 10th Parliament had recommended. The Gender Committee will interface with the Ministry of Finance, managers of NSSF, workers' unions, employers, Uganda Law Society, among others. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.